so the big block engine purchase funny story chad bought that without consulting with me i suppose and uh, nate came into work that day and said that he posted his bronco for sale there is a not so popular saying in the province of nova scotia that when it comes to turning chicken poop into the latest model of cars then you need to head to bad chat customs if you're not in the loop yet, Bad Chad Customs is a reality TV show featuring Chad Hilt, aka Bad Chad, and his team at Hilt Auto Co. in Nova Scotia, Canada. It captivated audiences worldwide and kept them logging for the next mind-blowing project. Jolene McIntyre, who happens to be one of the show's top members, caught the attention of the viewers. Her journey on the show blended business strategy and automotive passion. But what's happened since the camera stopped rolling? Join us as we explore her contribution to the show, how she's been steering her career path post-show, and what future projects we might expect from this dynamic automotive enthusiast. It took a bit, but we got it mounted, and now it's just a matter of reinforcing everything. I keep seeing comments on Facebook and YouTube of just people losing their minds that we cut the chassis and it's not gonna, it's gonna twist and it's gonna do this and that and um, everything will be upgraded to accommodate the engine. Jolene embodies the essence of a business guru, a brilliant lady who will not stop until her goal is achieved. Jolene, an avid lover of sport, explored her love for it by joining her college team. However, Jolene wasn't just a collegiate athlete, but a midfielder for her soccer team at St. Mary's University. This experience likely instilled in her a sense of teamwork, discipline, and strategy, invaluable traits in the business world, especially in a high-pressure environment like a car customization garage featured on TV. But Jolene's not just about sports. Academically, she's got chops too. With a degree in finance, she brings a solid understanding of numbers and economics to the table, which is crucial in managing the finances of Hilt's Auto Co. The financial savvy complements the creative side of the business. She ensures that while Chad and the team are out there pushing the boundaries of car customization, the company remains profitable and sustainable. Jolene McIntyre's journey to prominence is quite an exciting story woven into the fabric of the Canadian reality TV series Bad Chat Customs. This show, which hit the screens in 2019, became a Discovery Channel favorite, providing viewers a peek into the extraordinary world of car customization. The garage at the heart of this series, Hilt Auto Co., isn't just any car shop. It's a creation co-founded by Jolene and her partner, Chad Hilt, where they breathe new life into cars. Viewers were captivated by Chad's ability to take what many would see as junk, rusty, forgotten vehicles, and transform them into rolling pieces of art. What makes this even more intriguing is his choice of materials. Imagine seeing a car reassembled using bits and pieces that most would discard as trash, and Chad does this with a flair that's nothing short of genius. Jolene's involvement in the car customization business is not just on paper. Jolene's hands-on approach and willingness to get involved in the nitty-gritty aspects of the operation show her dedication and passion for the craft. This blend of practical involvement and strategic oversight from Jolene has contributed significantly to the success of both the business and the Bad Chat Custom Series. Jolene's interest in automotive and motorcycle culture speaks to her passions as a lady who doesn't want to just sit pretty in the auto shop. It adds another layer to her multifaceted personality. This passion makes her a good fit and, most importantly, a fan favorite. Jolene's role in the creative hub is pivotal. While she may not be bending metal or welding the torch, her contribution to the show in the garage is immense. As a co-founder, she's been instrumental in steering the business side of things, ensuring that Chad's visionary work gets the spotlight it deserves. She's the one who keeps the wheels turning behind the scenes. Managing a business's financial and administrative aspects like this is a large feat. It involves a delicate balance of budgeting, scheduling, and overall business management, ensuring creative minds have the freedom and resources to bring their visions to life. Angeline does this with expertise just as impressive as the customizations rolling out of the garage. So, while Jolene might not be on the front lines of the garage's creative battles, her strategic management and operational skills keep the business thriving. She supports the garage's creative endeavors in a way that allows them to push the boundaries of car customization, making her an unsung hero of the Bad Chad Custom Saga. While it aired, the show wasn't just car restoration, it was automotive magic that transformed the base metal of neglected cars into gold. With her huge fan base, while the show is still running, Jolene did great for herself financially. She has an estimated net worth of $3 million, which she has earned through her automotive business and television career. 
The company, Hilt Auto Co., contributes significantly to her wealth, merchandise sales, and her popular YouTube channel. Speaking of YouTube, since Bad Chat Customs ended, the real OGs know the best way to catch up with Jolene is via her rapidly growing YouTube channel, where she shares bits and pieces about her recent undertakings. She shares her new projects and tasks. She recently put up a new video stating that a certain Ian Rousel invited her and Chad to collaborate on a show similar to Bad Chat Customs. Jolene is very open and positive toward the auto guru and his wife, who are starting a similar YouTube channel. She views the emergence of new creators in the space not as a threat, but as a testament to the evolving nature of media and entertainment. According to her, the rise of YouTube and other online platforms gradually overshadows traditional television. Jolene believes this paradigm shift is part of the broader technological evolution changing the entertainment and information sharing landscape. However, it doesn't seem like the duo would be honoring Ian's invitation. In a video on her YouTube channel, Jolene expressed her opinion. It appears Jolene and Chad have a pretty straightforward philosophy about competition. They're not big fans of it, at least not in the conventional sense. They prefer to see their work as a collaborative effort and focus on creativity rather than competing against others. For them, the essence of their craft is about sharing ideas, learning from each other, and pushing the boundaries of what they can create together. They believe in a community where everyone can thrive by sharing skills and experiences rather than seeing each other as rivals in a contest. This non-competitive ideology is central to their identity and approach to business and creativity. They see more value in building relationships and collaborating with others in the industry than in competing against them. So, as it stands, the duo still work together and will continue to work together to provide their audience with quality restoration content. Jolene has set her sights high for 2024, with Elevate as her guiding mantra, and she's talking about stepping up her game professionally, personally, in her relationships, and even in her sense of style. It's like she's on a mission to enhance every faucet of her life, bringing a sense of growth and improvement to everything she does. She's excited about this journey of elevation and wants her viewers to be a part of it. It's not just about her growth. She's keen on building a community where everyone is encouraged to elevate their own lives. She often talks about this on her channel, inviting her audience to throw in their ideas and share their stories. Jolene often emphasizes how this journey is a shared experience. She wants her viewers to feel connected and see her channel as a source of entertainment or learning and as a space for collective inspiration. She's open to suggestions for her content and keen to explore topics that resonate with the audience and help them elevate their lives. Safe to say, Bad Chat Customs flipped the script on how car customization is typically portrayed on TV, didn't it? It's not just another show where vintage cars are polished to look like they just rode off the assembly line. While Jolene is not directly involved in the activities in the garage, we love to see her hold things down for her man and, of course, her cerebral contributions. Let's hope they say yes to the next invites. A fresh adrenaline rush wouldn't be a bad idea.